Okay, so this is a problem about relative frequencies and frequency tables, and we are missing some pieces. So we have to calculate uh, first any missing frequencies. And it says that 60 adults uh, with gum disease uh, were asked how many times they fl um, floss before their diagnosis. So they've given us some of them, but we have some missing. So we need to figure those out. So if we turn this on, we add up how many things were there. And we find out there's 49. So if I subtract 49 from 60, I find out that there are 11 people who had were flossing three times a week. Okay, because so each of these here is how many times a week they're flossing. So zero, one, three, six times, or seven times a week. To calculate relative frequencies, now remember relative frequencies mean what part of the whole. So to find that relative frequency, we take the frequency and divide by the whole. So for this missing one, we have 18. We have 18 divided by 60, and we get 0.3. When we do 11 divided by 60, we get 0.18333. Now notice here that these go to four decimal places, so we want this to go to four decimal places. So. 0.1833 and then the rest of them are filled in. For the cumulative relative frequencies we are just taking the value we have and below so and adding them up because remember cumulative means to add so 0 there's nothing less than that so these values are going to be the same 0.45 The next one, we add these two values together. So I get 0.45 plus 0.3 is 0.75. And I'll put the zeros in. Now the next one, notice they added this to it. So plus 0.1 plus... I'm zooming that wrong. I'm on the wrong window. Plus 0.1833, and I get 0.933. Now notice then they added 0.05, plus 0.05. I get 0.9833, and for the last one they added 0.0167. So plus. 0.0167 and I get 1. Now in this case you may sometimes get 1, you may get a little less than you may get 0.999, you may get 1.0001 because if we hadn't rounded these things here or we had a bunch of them sometimes the rounding gets off a little bit and therefore this doesn't total out to one but it should total out to really really close to one so something that would round to it you know we're talking about thousands of a percent um, but th this, this value should always total to one so now part B just asks us to take information off of the table what percent of adults flossed six times per week? So we look here, we go to six times per week, and we found that 0 0.05. Well, they want this as a percent, so that's really 5%. Five 5%. Okay, because we're changing the 0.05 to a percentage. What percent flossed at most three times per week? Well, that means we add up all of the values here. We're really coding our cumulative relative frequency. And 
and we have 93.33% because again we are trying to turn we need to turn this into sorry about that a percentage so we have to take our decimal multiply by 100 which means I move our decimal point to and add the percent sign so when they ask for percent make sure you give your answers in percent